Hi, I'm Gary White for Central Kentucky Television. I'm in Braffordsville. I'm here now with Artie and Sandra Day, and Mr. Day is the stake president who is with the group with the uh, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints here in Braffordsville. You can see behind us some work being done for cleanup, but tell us what's been going on here today. Uh, today we've brought our youth here. We're on a trek to reenact the pioneer uh, exodus from Nauvoo, Illinois to Salt Lake City. And that occurred in the late 1840s and early 1950s. And so, 1850s, correct? And so uh, yesterday and today we're having them together to reenact the handcart exodus. Okay, so this has been a process. Have you been doing this for several days then? Yes. We started yesterday and we have today and then tomorrow. And we okay. did it four years ago. Okay. So were you down here four years ago as well? No, this is our first trek. Okay. Now you're the uh, stake president, you're saying, right? That's Tell correct. us a little bit what that means. Uh, stake president, a stake comprises a geographic area that is uh, uh, 10 local congregations. Uh, for us, it goes from Lebanon and Bardstown up through Carrollton and then across to the Shawnee area of, of uh, western Louisville. Okay. And how many people do you have out here today? We have 108 youth and about 30 support adults. Fantastic. Now, also, you have the garb of the people who would have been here back of that day, right? That's correct. All right. Can you tell us a little about what you're wearing? Well, I have long sleeves, long dress, um, which and then my bonnet, which is protected from the sun, although it keeps blowing off. <laughs> and um, generally we have an apron. It, I've used it when my hands were muddy and I didn't have anything to wash. I just kind of wiped my hands on my apron or uh, it's also practical for my pocket to carry things. But um, that's about it. And what kind of work you've been doing? Um, well, today, we've today we've, I'm trying to think of, most of our meals have been being cooked in Dutch ovens. Okay. And that included boiling water um, or you know, any kind of cooking that we've done. Um, Work-wise, I've also been out here clearing up, helping with the, the project here. And, and you got muddy from that, I can see. Yes, I got muddy from that. <laughs> We've also been cleaning the inside of the community center. Okay, cool. And they're painting around the basketball area, dugouts, and anything else that we can do to help. Now I can see you also have some carts on the other side. Is that how you've been trans or have traveling or are you using regular vehicles? No, that's how we, we walked from the Rakes Farm this morning. It was about two miles here. Uh, yesterday we did a trek out on their farm, which included a fairly steep incline that required um, use of ropes going up and down. And today we're going to go out to Highway 49. And at one point we're going to drop down and walk along the river uh -huh. and come out and then go up another hill up on, and camp tonight on another knoll and have a hoedown. Okay. Cool. So you're here through the day and then you leave out tomorrow? Tomorrow in the afternoon, right? We'll do a little bit more tomorrow morning. Fantastic. Now where are you two from? Uh, Crestwood, Kentucky. Crestwood, okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Now how about most of the people here? Do you have any ideas of some of the different towns that they're from? They'd be from Lebanon, Bardstown, Carrollton, Louisville, uh, the Shawnee area, Crestwood, Shelbyville. LaGrange. So LaGrange. Spread out. Yeah, LaGrange as well. Fantastic. All right, and also, part of the reason why you're here in Braffordsville is there's some historical element to that as well, and we have an expert who might be able to tell us more about that, but this is actually where the first settlement for the uh, Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints Church was established in Kentucky, is that true? That's right, that's right. The first baptism was here in, a, in an area uh, up Highway 49 that we're going to visit with the youth today. I'm here now with some students who are taking part in the adventure here in Braffordsville, and I have Hannah, Angela, and Stephen, and they're going to tell us a little bit about the experience here. The two ladies have actually done it. This is your second time, correct? Yeah, um, we did it four years ago, and this is our second time. Okay, what made you decide to take part again? Um, well, the first time I thought it was a really great experience. I learned a lot, and even though it's it's tough um, to push a handcart, um, you get a lot out of it, and it really helps you appreciate the people who came before us. And it, um, I don't know, it's just a neat experience to have and um, and to remember, and a uh, neat experience to share with friends as well. Now you can only do it two times, right? Because it's all 14 through 18 year olds who are here currently, correct? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Now, was you weren't here in Bradfordsville last time, is that right? We were in a different location? We were somewhere else. Okay. Do you remember some of the locations you visited last time? No. But it was it in Kentucky? Yeah, it was in, in Kentucky. Kentucky. <laughs> okay. So what do you think of Bradfordsville? It's really pretty. I, I don't know, I like having the separation from everything else. Like, you just really get into a character of being a pioneer when you don't have all the distractions of like everywhere else. So what has been your favorite activity that you've had to do so far? I don't know. 
I just like getting to meet new people and it's hard pulling the handcart, but like sometimes it's kind of fun and just being with your friends. And the weather has been pretty nice too. Yes. Right. Now, Stephen, this is your first time taking part, correct? That's correct. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. And what made you decide to take part this time? Um, well, it was the first time I had the opportunity to, and it just, uh, I've heard people talk about it, you know, say how, how much fun they've had and everything, and, and it, is, it is hard to do, it is hard to do it, but um, I think it'll be worth it in the end. So what have you learned from this experience so far? I've learned how to push a hand cart. And uh, ask me in a few days, and maybe I'll have learned more. But that's great. Now, ten, I think it's tonight. You get a hoedown, right? Yeah. Um, which is basically they get a live band, but it's not like a regular band. It's not like Maroon Five or anything. They've got. We actually saw them practicing the first day we got here. They've got fiddles and like guitars, and I don't even know what all the instruments are called. Um, but old-fashioned instruments, and um, they taught us a couple dances. Um, that I guess the p original pioneers would have taken part in, and um, I think. Uh, obviously there's going to be some people who know it a little better than us because we're still a little clumsy at it, but by the end of the night we hope to uh, be able to do the dance steps almost as well as the pioneers did. Fantastic. Now where are you from? I'm also from Louisville. Well, I'm from Crestwood, Kentucky, which is about uh, 20 minutes outside Louisville, maybe 30 if you're going to the heart of the city. Okay. And are most of these people new to you that you're meeting here? Yeah. Um, some of them are and some of them aren't. I know some of them from my own ward and congregation, but then some of them are brand new to me. And would you encourage others to take part if they had the opportunity? Absolutely. I did it twice. I mean, so I th you're enjoying it. I have a blast. Great. Now, are you going to be dancing tonight too? We'll see. We'll <laughs> see. It's. Uh, I hope so. I'm a little tired, but um, I'll do do what I can. Let's see what you can do. Okay. Mm -hmm. And these are some of the uh, youth who are involved with the trek down here in Bradfordsville. Now I have two people who are from Lebanon who are taking part. We have Ida Spalding and. Ken Weir, right? And what uh, what have you been doing so far down here? Uh, well, we have uh, been on a hike <laughs> up through some of the knobs here in the area on the right, uh, the farm of Hubert Rakes okay. and his family. And we've also uh, set up our campsites and we've cooked our meals pioneer style uh -huh. so far oh, fantastic. so we've used uh, just charcoal and the charcoal chimneys and just tried to you know do it roughing as much as the pioneer cl as close as we could to the pioneers and this is a pioneer trek and we're, again we're in Braffordsville what do you think of this pioneer food you're getting it's great luckily my mother knows how to cook and she's along with the trek with us uh, both of us and so we got to eat some potato soup last night and it was great the biscuits were perfect and uh, it's a lot of fun. So what have you been learning during this experience? Well, um, I'm greatly appreciative of the pioneers. They're my ancestors. And uh, you get a new perspective of what the pioneers had to go through. You know, you read in the history books that, uh, oh, they had it hard. You know, some people died. And, you know, they're pushing these things, these hand carts. And, uh, well, it's really hard, so... Whenever we got to experience what they had to go through, it it really puts it to uh, you know real life. It real life experience uh, puts things in new perspective. So I learned uh, that the pioneers had it rough, and uh, I have a new appreciation for them. Now we were saying that Braffordsville is actually oh, we have a nice wind going, which is actually nice when you're doing this kind of work, isn't it? Oh, exactly. But we were saying that the first settlement for the church. Uh, Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints Church was actually here in Bradfordsville, is that correct? Yes, it was. Uh, actually, the date was 1902 when the church here was dedicated, and that, from what I've been told, of course, that was long before my time, but uh, it was up on what's known as Jones Creek Road, when I, I've only known it to be called Joner, but mm -hmm. most people in this area call it that, but, uh, and that church building, I don't think there's anything still standing there, but the first building was built there and then later I think in I think it was 19 in the 1920s maybe or tw no 1937 the church was actually moved to town here in Braversville and I okay. think it was uh, set up in an, an old mill they called it the big mill or big old mill and that uh, that building was used until the church was actually dedicated in Lebanon and that the church in Lebanon is still the original part of the original building that's okay. is used today 
Now the church building in Lebanon has been added on to since that time, but that, uh, that building was dedicated in uh, 1961 at that location. Okay. So. And the, one of the reasons they settled here was because of the river, correct? Or the stream or lake or whatever? Uh, possibly. I mean, I, yeah. I don't, you know, really have a lot of information on that. But I would say, you know, I know that, uh, I think I read somewhere that uh, Joseph Smith actually, who was the first prophet, Latter-day mm -hmm. prophet, he actually, I think I read on, on a website that he passed through Louisville, Kentucky on his way to go out west. And then he sent missionaries back to this area. Okay. And the first uh, lady who was actually baptized uh, in this area was the first official member in Kentucky, was uh, a relative, I think a great grandparent to Hubert and Herbert Rakes who live right here in Braversville. Okay. And the farm where they live now is the farm that we hiked on and trekked on and we camped out on and everything last night. And so the Rakes family have They've been great and they've really made this real for us. And we, we think, we hope that we kind of got a little taste of what the pioneers actually experienced, but I seriously doubt, even though how hard it was, I doubt that it was even a fraction of what they went through, but. Yeah. Now, do you have some of the people that you go to church with who are taking part in this from our area too? Yep, we have, uh, we have you, me, her husband, my mother, and my sister, and her son, son. Mm-hmm. and her oldest son yeah and uh we're having a lot of fun <laughs> now is this your first time no this is my second time i did one four years ago and uh i got to go through a lot of weather patterns and uh, so far today it's been really uh, sunny so it's a good change for for once on this one <laughs> yeah, temperature wise it's been really nice i mean it's the, the mud has been the biggest problem of course we had mm -hmm. an unusual amount of rain recently yeah. so that kind of put a damper on things but but it's it's been okay and we were talking a little bit about the outfits that you're wearing you are wearing pioneer right. outfits as well and they kind of help with covering from the sun for your ears and your neck right. and everything too right right the women uh the women wore bonnets and aprons and long long dresses long sleeves and they even wore like under their clothing they wore what were called bloomers that mm -hmm. they wore and and i doubt they had nice tennis shoes to walk in like we we have been using so that's probably not a true pioneer uh costume there but anyway we we had to be somewhat that's comfortable right. so. we're close anyway right. so that's good you're making the effort right. now is this your first time doing this this is my first experience yes okay, and what have you learned from it i've like i said i've just I hope that I've gotten just a small taste of what the pioneers actually went through. But, you know, I was just thinking earlier, I've heard stories in history about how the pioneer mothers had to, uh, some of their, they lost their children on the trail. And, you know, they just had to bury their children where they were and they just had to walk off and leave them. And I, I can't imagine how difficult that that would have been. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Again, I'm talking, we're talking about the Pioneer Trek, and it's here in Bradfordsville this weekend with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This is Gary White for Central Kentucky Television.